Hello everyone, welcome to the update video for Season 4 of Frost War Live. My name is Isaac, also known as the Idiot Gamer, and I'll be telling you about all the updates for the games that you need to know for Season 4 of Frost War Live. Keep in mind that we're only going to be covering games that were played in Season 3, so Capture Point, Haunted Havoc, and Gauntlet will not be covered in this video, because we haven't played them yet, so there's no changes to talk about yet. But anyway, let's get straight into the updates. Alright, so for general changes to the event, we just have one small change. For the walkout phase at the start, you'll now be able to see other teams walk out before it's your team's turn. So you'll kind of have like a camera fixed in the sky until it's your turn to walk out. And then of course you'll watch from the reviewing platform as you normally do. Alright, so on to our first game, Disco Fever. So we reduced the start time of the first round from 8 to 6 seconds, but it still decreased at the same rate, which means that we'll be getting into the really faster rounds faster where you have to move quick and you have a really good reaction time. Also, the minimum time is now used to be only one second, but now it's actually half a second, so the game can get really, really fast if people are that good and survive long enough. And also, if all the people left are all on the same team, the game will instantly end and they'll all get the winner's bonus. We've also increased the points for survival when someone falls from 5 to 10, and the points for winning have gone from 30 to 60, so doubling both of those. Just some small changes there. We're still keeping three rounds, of course, so we'll see Disco Fever when it gets played. Alright, let's talk about our second game of the day, Speedrun. So for speedrun, we've only made a few small changes. We've increased the point distribution, so everyone will get more points. So for example, first we'll now get 500 instead of 300 before. And a second change is that we've now made it so that you're in biz if you're within a few blocks of another player. So that way the starting 20 seconds will not be absolute chaos as people struggle to see. So don't worry about that anymore. And also, don't think that we didn't notice that some of you were smuggling your elytras when you weren't supposed to have them, so we fixed that too. So no more smuggling elytras outside of the downhill intended zone. Alright, let's talk about Tunnel Block. So the first thing to note is that we fixed a massive bug where people were not getting added to the teams properly. That has been fixed. Do not worry about that anymore. So the time before bases start decaying has been reduced from 4 to 1 minute, so the game will be going much faster and won't take an hour like it did last time. We've also removed the points for you get for normal kills, and you now only get kills for finals. So instead of getting 15 points for a final, you'll now get 20. And that will be 15 points for killing, and 5 points for the survival bonus that everyone will get on a final kill. And also, you better go for bases now, because for bases, you used to get only 25 points. If you destroy a base, you'll now get yourself 150 points. So you better spend a lot of time in enemy bases trying to destroy them, because you'll get a lot of points that way. Alright, let's talk about our fourth game of the day, Survival Games, which was everyone's favorite last time. Well, at least that's what it seemed, given you guys in the chat when we played five out of the six games. Anyway, for the chest, we've added a lot more around the map, like about 150 extra chests, which sounds like a lot, but when you consider how big the map actually is, it makes sense. And anyway, each of those chests now has eight items instead of just five, so you'll be getting more from them. So more, val more chests and as well as more value, it's a lot of inflation as well as we've replaced the iron hose with iron axes, so they're actually useful now. And that's about it for survival games. Okay, let's talk about the next game, Jumping Mad. So for Jumping Mad, we have a brand new map, which we think you'll really like. It's very detailed, very long, and very nice. Let's we'll see if anyone can beat it. You'll get 15 minutes on this one instead of the normal 12. So just like with Speedrun, you'll now only be invisible if you're within three blocks of someone else. So you'll be able to see people from far away, but not when you're right next to them. So don't worry about them blocking the way. And now also, you're going to get now 30 points for each checkpoint instead of 40. It has been reduced, but there are more checkpoints, 50 of them in fact. And if you beat the game, you'll now get a fixed 150 regardless of how fast you finished. So as long as you finish the game, you'll get 30 points for each checkpoint times 50 and 150 points. Can anyone beat the game? Well, only one way to find out. Hopefully it gets played. Anyway, time for our last main game, Sky High. So for Sky High, you'll now get full wooden tools at the start of the game. You won't have to run into mid with practically just nothing, like some people did last time, so get some nice starting items now. Which of course everyone has them, so it's not really unfair because if everyone's OP, nobody is. But then again, wooden tools are not OP, but whatever, I'm getting off topic. But that's all we've done for Sky High. And of course, we can't forget about our finale game, Laser Tag. So if you've been playing on the practice server at all, which you totally should, we've updated the Laser Tag on Frost War, the official match to match the one we have on the practice server, which is a little bit different, a little bit updated, with only one major difference. So, the new practice server version has better death messages that actually show the killer, as well as having the hearts on the action bar instead of in the subtitle slot. 
And the only difference is that the time between sets will still be at 60 seconds like it was in the main event instead of only 30 on the practice server. So only one difference, but it's basically going to be the same as you've been playing on the practice server now if you have been playing on it, which again, you should come play on it. And that about does it for this update video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow at 11 Pacific or 2 Eastern. And see you there. Bye everyone.